What is Fantasy Express? Fantasy Express is a role-playing game based on old-school role-playing games, except with lots of delivery missions, so that we can get rid of delivery missions for good. Check out last week's devlog if you want to hear more about delivery missions and what Fex really is. Mostly I live code Fex on Twitch, but since the goal is to get this game out in a few weeks, join me in this weekly devlog to find out how it all happened. Rhea told me that she wanted to go gather things from around the world on her own. So this week, I set about giving her a lore book with all that information about the world. The starting world is called Curia, but Rhea already knew that. On Saturday's live coding show, we built a mock UI for the lore book with spots for four items with a bare bones interface. That was linked to an input handler for LRUD, left, right, up, down, keys, and we wrote a function so that we could just say, put the item details in the top left spot, and it would do it. Rhea's full sprite sheet was ready to go. So in the next session, I imported the sprite and set up the animations to play the right set of frames for a given motion with an animated sprite object. After there was LRUD animations, I began coordinating playing the frames at the right time with the corresponding amount of movement in the world. The actual motion was handled by a tween object, and the right animation was played at the right time. They're not exactly right here, but we'll fix that later. In the Tuesday show, after removing some more temporary graphics and debuting the new start screen, we bound the data model for the items to the lore book UI, and then we could flip pages in the book to see all the stuff in the world. That data didn't belong in the code base though, since it wasn't really code and it might be easier to work with it in a spreadsheet. So I ended up writing some mini tools to output JSON, and I hit the resource loader to load it in. Some of the resource loading was a little confusing to me in Godot, so this took a little longer than I expected. With a few checks for bad or missing data, I started work on the terometer. The terometer? What is a terometer? Well, the terometer is a simple analog steampunk surveying tool that will provide the UI for Rhea to find various stuff around the world. If you can manage it, you'd really want to work with a UX designer on something like this, but describing an instrument that doesn't exist struck me as just a little bit tricky. So here I'm using Godot panels to do my wireframing directly. This is mostly just for function. It's going to need some steampunk magic added to it a little bit later. I was thinking something of a mix between a sextant and a seismograph, but we'll add the crumb later. Well, to wrap things up, I wanted the lore book to drive the item loaded in the terometer. So here I'm passing a function reference between the two separate scenes. I also figured it was time to start pulling the UI elements out of the overworld scene. So I dynamically attached the terometer scene as a child of the overworld scene, something that I'll repeat with the other widgets. That's your Fantasy Express devlog for the week. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and I left a link to the show on Twitch down in the description if you want to catch it live. Otherwise, let's catch up next week. In the meantime, keep on delivering stuff. <laughs>